today I wanted to share with you what I personally put in my opportunity packets or um, I also sometimes call them informational packets. So I'll call them opportunity or informational. I use those two interchangeably. So if I mix them up here and there, it's because I, I say both, okay? Um, so what I have, first of all, is if you go to Walmart, you can get this size of envelope. I do not know the actual size. I know it is a half sheet, okay? So when you fold a piece of paper in here, um, and there's lots of different colors. I'm gonna pull the other ones. These are all brights, okay? The bright colors, that's what I get. Um, and that these are relatively inexpensive, just at your local Walmart, okay? So I start off with this. I've already done my, um, my return address stamp on it. I'm covering that up for safety's sake. Um, and then, um, so I open it up and I do not include a ton of stuff, okay? I don't put a catalog in. Uh, remember, this is an opportunity or an information about the business um, pack. So here we go. When, when, you, when you open it up, I just have all the paperwork kind of stuck together in here. Um, and I have our host join brochure. This has my information on the back. Um, you know, our host join brochure is awesome. It has the comp plan in it. It also has the hostess plan in it uh, for their rewards, okay? I enclose a business card. I also enclose a blank postcard, okay? Um, I'll tell you more about the blank postcard in just a second, but I go ahead and stuff this in there, okay? So this particular postcard, I'll just zoom in a little bit on it for you, okay? It is just a plain postcard. I got this at Vistaprint. I will cover up my contact information here. I just have my contact information right there, my phone number, my email address, and then I put my YouTube on there and my website, okay? So this goes in there, it's blank. I put a sheet of accent nails, okay, from our current catalog, that's what these are, okay? And then I have a little half sheet that I've done and this is called How Jamberry Has Impacted Me. This is just a little bit about my personal story um, and I make sure that I tell my personal story from the, the very beginning stages, um, not necessarily how it's impacted me now but I have something in there about making off my uh, paying off my kit in the first nine days and that sort of thing how excited I am why I signed up okay the other paperwork that I include in here is this Jamberry Mythbusters um, if you're a glamour jammer this is in our files on our team page I just took an image that I saw on flying around Facebook and I made it into a um, printable document um, this does not have my contact information on it so if you are watching this and you're not on the glamour jammer team um, see if your team manager has it um, I will try to put it on the leader page just so people can use it if they want it does not have um, it's not personalized so anybody can use it um, and then I also have in there is some basic information. You asked, I'm so glad you did, and I stole this from someone. I can't remember who I stole it from. Um, but this has a picture of the starter, what comes in the starter kit. I do need to update this though because it's the old um, application kit. Um, but yeah, it's got my contact information and just some frequently asked questions about money, um, the basics about how much it costs, what comes in the starter kit, um, support, love, those sorts of things, okay? So again, just all of this stuffed together. What I do is I put everything together in the envelope facing upward, okay? And by upward, I mean the fold is in the bottom, so when they pull it out, they just pull everything out this direction, okay? Now, the reason that that blank envelope was in there, or that blank postcard, is because look at how many opportunity packs I have. This is just one stack. I went and the other night, I stuffed like 25 opportunity packs. But what, um, what this allows me to do is when somebody requests for information, I just go in, I quickly am able to grab the postcard out and write them a personal note. You know, hey Sally Q, I'm so glad that you requested information. Um, I can't wait to talk to you about it more. You know, whatever I'm gonna put on that postcard. That way it is personalized. Now, everything in this packet I've also made digitally with the exception of the host join brochure. So if somebody asks me for information, 
and maybe we're about to start an opportunity event or I want to get it to them faster um, before the snail mail can get there, then I will shoot them off an email and everything, I'll have the Mythbusters attachment, the I'm so glad you asked attachment about me, what, how it's impacted my life, and then I make sure that I include the compensation, um, the consultant to team manager compensation chart. Okay, I do make sure I put that in there because remember the host join brochure is not digital, okay? So yeah, that's it. It's easy, it's simple, and guys, most importantly, this costs 70 cents to mail, okay? Remember, you are not trying to break the bank here. 70 cents. You can get 70 cent stamps at your local post office and it makes it super easy. I already have them ready. Write a hand note put their address on it, stick a stamp on it, and in the mail it goes. All right? I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you do, make sure you um, share with your team. Um, also, if you're watching this on Facebook, I'm going to challenge you to go right now to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. It is free, and I have tons of other videos for you to, to view. I'm also going to challenge you to watch one of my non Jamberry videos about makeup, okay? I will talk to you in an upcoming video. Bye.